Hey guys, good morning. I hope you all are doing well this morning. Um, hop on when you get on. Be sure to tell me that you're here and say hello. Do y'all have any idea how much I love you to do this before 8 a.m. in the morning? It's a lot of love. A whole lot of love. Um, I'm going to chat for a few minutes just to give folks a chance to come on. And I'm going to watch. I've got a little clock down here. I'm going to watch. I'm going to try to get, get you guys out of here by 8 because I know that your time is precious. But I want this to be worthwhile for you. Hey, Miss Holly. Good morning. So, so yes, I love you a lot by getting up early this morning. Some of you guys may be coming out of early bird yoga. Others of you may just be starting your day but I've never been much of an um, early morning person um, and this is just a great way to force me to get up and get moving and so hopefully this will bless your all's day as well but before we get started I want to make sure I don't start early so I don't miss anybody this morning um, hey Holly um, I want to give you guys a chance. Feel free to say hello as you get here. Feel free to ask any questions. Um, this group is going to be your group. Uh, all of, Some of you guys have already started asking questions and giving feedback, and I love that, and I hope that you will continue to do that. One of the things that's really important to us at Supreme Peace is that there's ongoing conversation and communication about what's going well and what's not and asking questions about your yoga practice so feel free to um, ask any questions that you might have um, especially those questions that you hold back on because you're not really sure if anybody else has those questions because I can assure you that other people um, have those questions as well good morning Beth I know you've been up for a little while crazy lady <laughs> Um, so a couple of announcements before we get started since we have about another minute or so. We have a scheduled change coming up this Saturday. The farmer's market starts on Saturday morning. So our 9.30 a.m. class is going to move to the farmer's market. And for those of you guys who are unfamiliar, that's at the corner of Wellington and Southern Parkway. Just a few blocks towards um, towards the Waterson from the yoga studio. And so there's a great shady patch of grass there that we do yoga on every Saturday at 930. It's a great way to get the word out to the community. It's also a donation-based class. And all donations that are accepted through the... Hey, good morning, Robin. All donations that are accepted through the class go to benefit the Neighborhood Association. So... Um, it, it gives back to the community as well. So be sure to go out there and support both Steffi and our teachers in training. Shannon has a great class planned for you guys on Saturday morning. Um, on Sunday, we've got our essential oils and restorative yoga class. And that's from 5 to 7, and that's $35. Um, but that is a great way to kind of slow down and soothe yourself if uh, summer has already kind of run amok for you and you're already feeling kind of spun out that's a, a great workshop to come to and kind of rejuvenate and you'll get to even take some essential oil goodies home um, Debbie always takes good care of you guys there and then oh I almost forgot we have this cool app and we've been working with it for a little while but um, but it's even improved and you can sign up for workshops there. So from your iPhone or Android, if you go to Wellness Living Achieve for Clients, um, again, that's Wellness Living Achieve for Clients, give it a try and let me know how that works for you. Oh, it's time for us to begin. So let's start the meditation and I will give you guys a few other announcements at the end. So I do want to honor your time this morning. And like I said, we'll get out by eight for sure um, because I know if you're like me and you're busy sometimes that anxiety of not knowing when the end time is can be um, quite intense so go ahead and start to find your comfortable space whatever that looks like sitting up lying down 
Um, if you're trying to get your day started, you might want to go ahead and challenge yourself to sit up. But find a comfortable seat and a comfortable place. Um, it could even be in your lazy girl or lazy boy. And if you want, you can close your eyes. Or you can just gaze softly, maybe down at the floor in front of you. And life is going on around me. It sounds like there's maybe a neighbor that's mowing and who knows what the husband or the dogs may do. And that may be the case for you as well. So this is a great opportunity for us to know that that stuff is going on in the world around us. And take a few deep breaths. And begin to focus a little more inwardly. And that's going to be the focus of our meditation today is our breath. In yoga, there is a concept called prana. And little p prana is our breath. And it flows in and out of our bodies. So just take a moment now and feel the path of the breath making its way in the body. Follow it all the way deep into the lungs and follow it all the way back out the body. And just continue allowing yourself to come back to that rhythm of your breath over and over again throughout this meditation today. Big P Prana is our life force energy. You may have heard of Tai Chi or Reiki. And the Chi and the Ki and Prana are all very similar concepts. They're our life force energy. Here in the West, we talk a lot about our soul, which animates our body when we're living. And so prana is something that is in all living things. And when our prana is stuck or not flowing correctly, that's when things like you know, difficulty focusing or agitation or irritation, um, emotional and kind of um, irritable thoughts kind of come in. But also if left unchecked, things like illnesses and injuries can tend to be affected by slow moving or um, out of alignment prana. And so today we're going to focus on learning a way to direct our pranic energy. So as you continue breathing here today, begin to visualize the breath making its way in through the nose, down to the heart and allowing the breath to flow over into the right shoulder. And just like the wind blows through the trees and each one of the leaves, when there's a gentle breeze, allow your breath to flow through that right shoulder, exploring it completely. And take several breaths here, breathing into that shoulder socket, around the bones and muscles and tendons, in the skin of the shoulder, and maybe if you already know that there is kind of a chronic disturbance in the shoulder. Maybe you've got an achy shoulder. As you exhale, visualize any of that tension, that tightness, that pain flowing out of the body.
And when you're ready, begin to deepen your breath, allowing it to flow down into the upper part of your right arm. Filling up your biceps and triceps, all of the bones and tendons and muscles, all of the tissue in that upper right arm. And continuing to allow your breath to deepen. Maybe you allow the breath to flow through the shoulder, the upper arm, and even into the elbow joint. Without judgment, noticing any little creaks or pops that often happen and breathing into those spaces. And then go ahead and send your breath down into the forearm as well. Allowing the breath to explore the whole shoulder and whole right arm. Moving its way down into the wrist, the smaller bones of the wrist. the many tendons and muscles that begin to intricately make up our wrist and hand. And continuing to breathe here, allow that energy to flow down into the hand, the palm of the hand and the back of the hand. And you may even start to begin to feel a sense of warmth or tingling as you do this. And allow that energy to flow down each one of the fingertips and the thumb. Now step back for just a moment. Come into your heart space. And although you haven't moved the body, you haven't done anything in particular, no yoga asanas or postures, Step back and pay attention to both arms and shoulders and notice the difference between the two. It may be only a subtle difference or change, or maybe it's quite a large one. But you can begin to see the power of intentionally increasing pranic energy into the body. And so we'll balance things back out now. And as you breathe in through the nose and down into the heart, go ahead and allow that energy to flow into the left shoulder. Exploring the whole left shoulder with your breath. Breathing down into the right, the left upper arm. Into the left elbow joint. Allow the breath to flow down into the forearm. Into the left wrist.
allowing the energy to flow down into the back of the left hand and the palm of the hand. And even into the thumbs and fingertips. Take several more nice deep breaths as that energy circulates all the way down the left arm and hand and fingertips. Trusting that you're creating good energy in your arms and hands and fingertips, which is an extension of your heart, so that as you go about your day today and go about your work, both giving and receiving, which is important, that balance. We'll be better in tune with your higher self and with your life purpose. So take a step back once more, coming back into the heart. Just feeling into both shoulders and arms and hands. And noticing now if there's a little more balance than there was before. And if not, that's okay. But just getting curious about and noticing what you notice. And then when you're ready, begin to come into your whole body. Feeling where you are. And time and space and deepening the breath. And taking your time, you can begin to move the body however would feel good to you. And when you're ready, you can allow the eyes to float open again. And so, as you come back to this space, if you need to leave us for today, that's absolutely okay. But know that I'll stick around on here for about the next um, three to five minutes more if you have questions. But feel free to ask questions or share comments about your experience with that meditation. Um, some ways that you can use that meditation. Um, today we took a little less than 50, actually about 15 minutes to do that meditation. It doesn't need to take that long. When you get practiced at it, it's something you can do quite quickly through the whole body as you're waking up in the morning, or you could lengthen it out. We're getting ready to go into a full moon again on Friday. Uh, with some crazy super moon energy. So if you have difficulty falling asleep at night or staying asleep at night, that could be something that you could do and do through the whole body, starting with one arm, two arms, one leg, the other leg, the torso, the head, the whole body, um, and put yourself back to sleep that way. It could be a, a lovely way to spend some um, waking hours, um, even though maybe those aren't times when you necessarily want to be awake. Um, and I don't know about you guys, I feel much more awake than I did 15 minutes ago. So I don't know if that was just the nature of um, waking up and uh, leading this or if it was the pranic energy flowing through. I'm glad that you felt wonderful, Robin. Girl, I didn't know that you had pain in your right shoulder, but you are um, a beautician, so <laughs> it kind of goes with the territory. So breathe into those shoulders and love on those shoulders because I know you use them all the time to make other people feel good and feel beautiful. Um, yes, Beth, the difference between both sides is absolutely nuts. Um, so did you find balance, Beth? after you did the other side then or um oh uh, the other side was saying me 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 we get to don't don't leave me out <laughs> absolutely what we do on one side we're going to do on the other so hopefully you felt balanced after we did that 
Um, but if you do this for a while, you'll begin to notice really subtle differences in different parts of the body. And you'll be surprised, but you can even pick up on things before they turn into a problem. Um, you'll pick up on, you know, little things. Maybe the knee started twinging, but it's not really a pain right now. Um, oh, yeah. Kitties and puppies, they tend to really like energy work, for sure. I can't do Reiki at the house because um, everybody comes running. Um, but... But yeah, so a lot of times you can even pick up on things before they become a problem. And it's it's pretty cool. If you live with chronic pain, those kinds of things, that visualization can be real helpful for chronic pain too. So um I've been I've been loving that lately and, and doing that a lot lately for a number of different things. You can use it too when you're starting to feel a little sick or whatever, and then breathing into the throat, or if you're getting a headache, breathing into the head, that kind of thing as well. Um it's pretty crazy how powerful that can be. Uh, yeah, Robin, that's a good question. Is it Reiki meditation or yoga? It's kind of all the same. <laughs> we have so many different names for this stuff, but yeah, so in yoga we use, we talk about prana, in Reiki we talk about ki. It's the same thing. It's just different languaging for the same thing. And so it's a little bit you know, it's a little bit of both. Um, in yoga, the whole intention for asanas and all of that is to increase and um, create health in our pranic flow. And that's the same. The same is true of Reiki. Um, and I just love them so much because they're powerful and they're something that we can do for ourselves that are really, really healthy. So, um, hey, Melissa, welcome. Um, I'm glad that you're enjoying these, Holly. Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you guys being on here today. I am going to um, hop off and I'm going to post links to some of the uh, event notices that I told you about earlier um, on here. And also, this will be up here for you guys to replay and to come back to anytime you want to. So um, just enjoy that. I'm so glad that you needed it, Beth. Um, thank you guys for being here. And... Um, Please feel free in the comments below to say when you'd like to see these, when they would be ideal times for you, and I will be happy to accommodate if I can. You guys have a blessed day. Namaste.